Hey everyone, Hobby Sai here. Today we're going to do another microscope video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut off one of the bubbles on my bubble coral and put it on a slide and put it under the microscope to see what we can find. Anyways, if you like these types of videos and want to support this channel, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button below. Anyways, let's jump right into it. Okay guys, I've turned off the flow um, so that the bubble coral doesn't move too much and I'm going to use a pair of scissors and a turkey baster to see if I can um, extract a sample of it. Um, it's going to be very difficult but I'm going to try my very best. Um, Okay, we got one. All right. Let me try to get it out of here. Hey guys, so after like way too many attempts, I finally managed to extract uh, one of the bubbles. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the slide now and uh, put a cover on it. And then let's see if um, we can take a look at it under the scope. So I'm going to try not to damage the sample too much. Get it right on there. And let's see if I can't. There we go. I think that was pretty successful. So as you can see here, I've squeezed the tissue onto the sample. And uh, let's go ahead and put it on the microscope and see what you can see. Everyone, so I got my sample right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the microscope. Remove my old slide. Um, I'm going to start the recording on my phone. Okay, that is now started, and now I'm going to slide in this bubble coral sample. Let's see if I can center this on there. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Oh man, look at that. see you can see kind of some of the striations I do see some tiny little dots inside the sample it's, it's funny how it actually looks very brown under white light uh, whereas in blue light it, it has like a green color but let's see if we can get on the edge here a little bit um, oh man wow that is incredible Look at that. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and zoom in because now we're on um, 100x. Let's go ahead and go to 400x. Let's see if we can't. Uh, do you guys see that? That is, I believe, those are zooxanthellae actually inside the tissue. Uh, everywhere in the tissue, you just have all these zooxanthellae. Uh, and if you watched last week's video, uh, we actually ended up seeing that there were a lot of dinoflagellates uh, in the, existing in the tank. And um, what's actually interesting is that zooxanthellae, which lives inside the tissue of the coral and has a symbiotic relationship with the coral, uh, is a type of dinoflagellate. And you can actually kind of tell that they look very, very similar here. 
Let's see if we can actually see if any of them can move in this tissue or if they're just suspended in the not look like there's much movement. Uh, another thing to note is that obviously these guys are very, very contracted right now, or the tissue is very, very compact towards normally. It's, it's spread out. So maybe the spacing of these zooxanthellae is much greater when the coral is fully inflate, inflated. Yeah, it seems, there seems to, you know, you can obviously see some tissue. Oh, here we go. Here's some, some interesting movement. There we go. So something's trying to move. Um, but it doesn't look like it's having much success. Go. Very interesting. And if you guys see all this fluid moving, that's just because the slide is kind of, you know, moving around due to the pressure that I've created. Um, yeah. Anyways, I, I think that's it. I don't think there's much more to look at, but it is very interesting to see that there's a whole bunch of zooxanthellae inside of uh, the bubble coral tissue, which is kind of what we would expect. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Um, thanks for watching and like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.